What's up, y'all? Advance here. So, popular topic on the internet this week, or at least definitely top three, is the Diddy video. So, yeah, the, the hotel uh, video released by, um, that was released for the 2016 assault of Cassie Ventura. And, man, like, that, li listen, it's it, as funny of, of a joke as it is to make, he did that shit. That, there is no question. Did he do it? Yes, he did. Like, man, like, this dude, this dude ran full speed down a hallway in a towel. Like, at first, I was wondering, I was like, okay, what did this woman say to him that made him run full speed down the hallway in a towel? Like, not giving a fuck. Now, I, I understand this is Diddy that we're talking about. And with all the heat that he's been catching since that Cat Williams video, um, <laughs> since the Cat Williams interview, uh, <laughs> I mean... It's, it's it's pretty much par for the course. You can just look at it and be like, yep, that's a Diddy thing to do. But it, it's so like weird and unorthodox. You wouldn't expect that. But at the same time, I'm also looking at it through the scope of an average person like myself and not somebody that is in Hollywood that has money. Like, man, like, <laughs> look. It is a prime example of money not changing you, but revealing who you really are. Like, man, yeah, that that right there. No, but all jokes aside, so the video picks up with Cassie walking uh, walking to the elevator, and she got um she got a bag, she got two bags in her hand, and. Like you can tell, she's doing the. Um, she has the. The escape while my um, escape while my boy abusive boyfriend is asleep starter kit, on. Like she had the, the hoodie. She had on a hoodie, and some, and some shorts, and man, it, this was this was difficult to watch. Though. Like like Diddy ran, chased her out of the hotel room. She tried to leave while he was asleep, but I guess he had one of those. Um, one of those Robin Harris house party moments where he heard the click of the door and then he woke up with his eyes all bloodshot and shit. And yeah, he woke and he went down there and punched her in the face. And yeah, uh, basically ragdolled her, threw her to the ground, kicked her twice, uh, tried to grab her down the hallway but realized he couldn't carry her and her stuff at the same time. So he just dropped her and left her there. Eventually, he came back because um, uh, Cassie was trying to use one of the phones in the hallway to call for help. He picked up a vase and threw it at her. Like that. Like man, that that was that is like bad. Like all the stuff that they talk about nowadays with like how men should how men should act, uh, not being able to control their emotions. Uh, act in a certain way when they can't control somebody. Uh, yeah, that's exactly what Diddy, uh, what Diddy is the poster child of now. Like it is, and it's crazy because coming up, like he was more of the suave. Uh, he was the suave, quiet, uh, soft-spoken businessman. I'm gonna make you a millionaire by the time you're 21. Now, now, listen, I know what everybody has been saying about Diddy lately. But I'm just saying, as far as like the image, public image, back when um, back when I was in middle school and high school and everything, before before the nightclub shooting, before all that stuff, that's uh, that's the image that I got from Diddy. Apparently, as, as time went on and stories started coming out and people started becoming more vocal, Diddy is an asshole, yo. Like, <laughs> based off of what everybody has been saying but yeah so how he did that woman man was listen 
you can make a case to say like, oh man, she really must have did something to piss him off. Under no circumstances whatsoever. And again, I'm invoking the Johnny Depp Amber Heard trial. There is no situation whatsoever where y'all should come to blows like that. If it gets that bad, leave. Like, bro, like I understand, you know, he wanted to he wanted to maintain the talent or whatever the case. All right, look, tear a contract up, let her go, man. Like, but once again, when you have money and you have power, absolute power corrupts absolutely. And that will put somebody in an air of invincibility. You know, so yeah. He he probably thought he could do all of this stuff and get away. They said he paid, they said he paid five stacks for this uh no, five racks, I'm sorry, for the for this video. Fifty thousand dollars. They paid fifty thousand dollars for this hotel video. But now it's evidence because they're trying to build a Rico case against him. And what was crazy was it like because with this whole assault situation that happened, they separated in um, 2019, and Diddy ended up settling. He ended up settling out of court, and Cassie signed an NDA as a result of that settle uh, that settlement. And <laughs> the lawyer was was funny and said like, "All right, yeah, the settlement is not an indication of wrongdoing." Yeah, officially, <laughs> maybe officially, but. No, as far as everybody else is concerned, yeah, he did that shit. Like, he like he 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 was guilty of something because of how fast he settled. Like that, like that was al almost the next day, I think. Um, maybe a little bit, a little bit, might have been a couple days later. I just know the word immediately was used. So, yeah. <laughs> no, but in any case, fact of the matter is that. Um. Yeah, like Diddy is catching a lot of shit from everywhere. Uh, conspiracy theorists say that he pissed off somebody up the chain. And of course, when you rich and you black, you are the first sacrificial lamb. So of course there are already people coming out, you know, saying, see, this is what happened with R. Kelly. Look, no. Like, listen, we know that there are monsters and we know about, you know, supporting, supporting black celebrities and everything. But no, like anybody that does this shit, black, white, purple, indifferent, whatever the case, it, it, you know, is, is, is bullshit. You know, it's, it's they're, they're monsters, you know, but in any case, those are my thoughts on the Diddy tape. What do you think about it? Uh, put your comments in the comment section down below and we're going to chop it up and start this conversation again i'm gonna go on record and say men don't act like this shit like listen like if you're an average person going through this all right you, just leave man leave and i know people were saying well she should have left years ago or yeah or she should have known that she was um that that he was like that this video was recording her attempting to get away the hoodie said it all like the hoodie in, in, in the bags said it all she tried to dip off while he was asleep he wasn't asleep as she thought as she thought he was in any case put your comments in the comment section down below let's chop it up my name's Advance. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe on everything. I'm out.